What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Jordi Alba's Summer Stars. So it is Team 2 and obviously yesterday we took a little bit of a break. We needed uh, just to recoup but we've got the Spanish Weekend League underway. We are currently I think 7-2 and two or something like that. I think only 7-2 and two, but we have got our first red pick from this Weekend League and it is Vasquez. So to be honest, keeps with the Spanish theme. It's not bad. We got Laporte in our guaranteed so obviously Spanish there and our final icon pack. Uh, previously we managed to get prime moment Fernando Torres. So, Spanish is all the way. So, I thought, you know what, we've got two of them here that we can do a review on today. It is going to be Jordi Alba and Ferran Torres, who is going to be uh, attacking this weekend league. So, he is 275,000 coins at this moment of recording. Um, obviously, there probably will be a bit of a drop in price as we go out the weekend league. I can imagine he might have had some sort of spike due to the fact that there is extra picks for Spanish teams. But, I have not come. Uh, I've not come up against a Spanish team yet. So hopefully we do find someone because it does. It is a bit annoying when you're kind of coming against a god squad with your Spanish team. And I've got a relatively okay Spanish team. But let's digress and go into Jordi Alba. Then five foot seven, left footed, high medium work rate with the three star, three star, no traits unfortunately, and the stats are pretty class. Obviously his pace is pretty much maxed out, so we don't have to worry about that one bit. Sentinel is what we're going for, trying to find it on Footbin, which will give you 98 defending and 93 physical. Turn them into a 98 rated left back. Absolutely in love with the ratings that they're giving right now. We're getting 95s, 99s, 98s. It is absolute class, and I've got to get my hands on that 99 Neymar. I'm hopefully eyeing it up at some point, so stay tuned for all of that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button with that bell button on. Obviously, get notified whenever I do a review. We're hitting over 800 reviews this year. Next year, we're going to go try for that big 1K. So stay tuned for all of that. Let's get into Jordi Alba. So, Sentinel gives you 98 defender, 93 physical, maxes out the aggression, 87 strength, pretty much maxes out all of the defending, pretty much. We've already got insane dribbling from him, his passing is absolute class, and the pace is also there. He is definitely more of a left wing back than a left back, just purely for the fact that his finishing is already there as well. So, we are going to be using him as more of an attacking left back, rather than a left wing back, because I don't really like five at the back, and I know you don't necessarily need to have it like that, but... For me, a left wing back personally is with five at the back because then you can afford for your wing backs to go forward rather than then kind of leaving two defenders rather than having three. So let's jump into Jordi Alba's gameplay, see what he's all about and come back for the overall review. Oh, Lorente, you beast. Absolutely stunning finish from outside the box there. And that's it. That uh, That's poor... Very, very poor defending from myself. And this is the problem. When you've got a 98 Ronaldo, literally this guy is not amazing. But that, that Ronaldo will do you absolutely charms. We saw it in the in one of the last matches. He's just incredible. Like He is the cheat code of the game. And literally, as soon as you get him in goal, we've got Jordi Alba pushing forward. He's going to go for it himself. Jordi Alba... And he's equaled it 2-1. Beautiful stuff from him. And that's that's where the attacking wing back comes in. And I think that is what the position you'd want for him. If you do play five at the back, I would highly recommend him. I don't think. I've not really tried the 97 chill well out yet. But that guy will be absolutely class going forward. A little bit lucky. Don't don't uh, get this twisted that he's just absolutely dominated. But gets very lucky. He's in the box because of his run. Obviously, he is very, very quick. So that is something that you do need to take into consideration. That he can just burst down his wing. We've got absolutely every stat for him. We can just decide, oh, okay, I thought we may have been able to, to pick up a cheeky foul. But then again, like here, this is where the wing back comes into it. You need it to have that security that there is a defender there. There is three at the very minimum because once you've got two, it almost becomes very easy to attack, especially in something like champs or when you've got somebody who knows how to attack. It's very easy to do like a 2-1-1, a 2-2. Two -on two -two. It's so simple to just pass it round and, and literally you are completely open. Jordi Alba coming in at the final second there. Fordham might have managed to let him in, but luckily Alba is absolutely on tip-top form there and takes the ball away. Does only give it as a cross, uh, as a corner, uh, throw-in, sorry, but still gets it away nonetheless. He's going to try it with Ronaldo, and Laporte is going to stop him this time. 
Jordi Alba watching. Anaki Williams is going to come on the inside, and that is beautiful defending. We pe uh, we kind of like picked the uh, the perfect spot for it there. Jordi Alba. Oh, I've done it. That's my fault. I've changed to him, and he's absolutely sold me down that river there. And he's cut across again. Got to watch him because he's going to try and get that Ronaldo in, but Laporte has stopped it. Le oh, Alba just getting involved there. Thought I screwed it up with a big tackle that obviously renders him useless. Alba's got a Naki again. Naki being very, very quick, but Laporte has been an absolute Donny in that centre-back. He's obviously got a lot to handle with that 98 Ronaldo, but doing quite well so far. It looks like we're going to be up to a real match as well. We look like we've got Firmino, Phil Foden, uh, Mbappe, and he's got another one, I think Chilwell and a couple of others who... I can imagine are the top version of he's got 98 Ronaldo and he's doing the Spanish objective with a pretty solid Spanish team. I can imagine he's got the top ratings of all of these as well. Bar from Mbappe, he's always one that I don't know. Could be his player of the month, could be his team of the year, team of the season. I don't know. Or an informus, but I don't even know if he had an inform actually. But could be any of them. Hopefully we do find out. Well, hopefully we don't find out because that means then he won't score. But he has put him on, so I can imagine that is the top version. We've whacked Ronaldo and Kimmich on so far. Obviously, Lorente and uh, Gerard Moreno coming off. Alba's going to watch Nani. And eventually, Nani just becomes very predictable depending on how you use him because he has only got a few sets of, of kind of how you use him as well. Obviously, very skillful, so that's always one to always watch out for. Oh, Kimmich making that dash. Back into Torres. Torres! And that's a great save. And he's not even bought off the keeper. That is the insult to injury if he does win this or, or try and come back. That he's got an 80-rated Spanish keeper in net compared to, obviously, we have, uh, we have Edison in net, team of the season. Oh, Jordi Alba, that's personally, again, my fault, but he's got a great recovery on him. Very, very impressed with Jordi Alba so far. Probably one of the better, if not the best left backs that we've used. Very, very happy with him. He just puts everything right. He's quick. He's got the defensive ability. He's even got the attacking ability as well, which isn't everybody's cup of tea because sometimes you don't necessarily want to be attacking with your wing backs, but at least getting the cross, getting the passing is always a nice little benefit. Hopefully we can find him again, but but so far, so good with him. I really am very impressed. That's got to be offside, surely. Oh, no. Oh. What is this guy? Like, he's had a 98 Ronaldo there, and now he's got a 97 Mbappe as well. Like, geez, this guy's got a red list, which I I'm kind of either thinking that he's either very, very good at this game, which I don't think he is. Like, if he's a top 200, I don't think I'd be winning. Oh, and Torres, let's go. If you thought kickoff glitch wasn't a thing, right there, twice now. But I don't think he's top 200 because I personally am definitely nowhere near... I'm, no, I'm nowhere even near Elite 2 level. Like I'd even question Elite 3 at this stage of the game because I just haven't... I haven't tried this game in, in terms of trying to get Elite, but I was only so close last game. So having that and then this game, I just can't see it. So he's got to be very, very lucky. Albert doing what he does best, giving it to Vasquez. Going to go for that run. Ah, oh, and I think he's offside. I know he's onside. Beautiful. So that obviously is a little bit of an Alba run. Pass it across. Just make sure. Lucas Vasquez. No need for celebrations. We're 6-2. Absolutely fine stuff there. So we've got our eighth win now. We just need, what, four more to get the uh, the next pick. And then obviously we need 15 in total. Or I think it's 15. 15 in total to get that final max pick that we can hopefully get. Oh, Alba missing that. I really thought that was a bit of a lackluster defender. Caught us off the guard there. Thought he wasn't really trying too much. Jordi Alba has been absolutely stunning. I definitely would recommend, especially if you can get him after this weekend league, because obviously um, you are looking cheaper. Like, look at that. Alba sets it all up, and it's a beautiful ball from Vasquez off his opposite wing. Absolutely stunning. Done in play from him. Find it into him again. Let's go for a bit of a run. And I can see his stamina still up there. So that is a cracking sign. Look at this. I know he's not necessarily trying too hard now. Already being so far below. But absolutely stunning from Alba. He's just been absolutely phenomenal for me. He's offside. Jordi Alba picking up where he left off. Exactly what I want. Jordi getting involved. Lovely little block. Oh, nearly. I wanted that pass a little bit sharper there. Into Vasquez. Going to go for the hit and hope. Schmeichel is going to be in net now, though. 
Ferran, oh, it's a great tackle from Jordi. The other side obviously does only have his team of the season, but that is an Mbappe through. It's not what we need. It's a great save from Edison. Though. Very, very poor shot. If anything, he needed to peel to the right, well, peel to his right a little bit and whack that in finesse shot. But luckily for me, not a great shot. Jordi Alba cleaning up as he always does. It's absolutely stunning play from the lad. What can we find here? We've got Vasquez making the move down the wing. Alba seeing it out. We've got nobody really chasing, so we're going to spread a bit of legs. Going to watch Alba make that overlap. Little ball in. That's what we want to see. It's Alba versus Moreno. We've got a freeze 88 Moreno versus Alba. It's going to whip the ball in, but unfortunately, that is not going to test Smite Schmeichel in the slightest. Oh, there's no way. Uh, th that, that is absolutely poor. It doesn't get him. I do go for the B, but it's like way before. That That is not getting him in the slightest. That is very, very poor on this game. And especially when we have been quite evenly matched. This is just a poor way to concede. I don't know if he's going to go down the middle. No, that is, that is absolutely ass. That is right there. Definitely shouldn't have been a penalty. Doesn't catch him. He's way behind me, in fact, when I'm taking the shots, uh, when I'm taking the tackle. It is it is um, me pressing the button. I did accidentally press it, but it doesn't... I'm in front of him. So, honestly, how, how it's managed to do that, absolutely. So, we're going to have to really push this game. And it was already quite tough trying to attack him. Alba's doing absolute work to, to really kind of battle that Mbappe. But, um, yeah, that, yeah that, that's poor. That's a very... Uh, very low point to try and get that in. We have brought on Nanny, who hopefully can give us just that little bit of spark because I feel like we're we're a little bit struggling. We need that little bit of look to, to kind of get us through. So then, going into the man of Jordi Alba. What a card this guy is. Honestly, an absolutely dream of a left back. A genuine dream. And I'm interested now because obviously 97 is probably one of the highest rated left backs we have actually seen in FIFA. I don't think there's many. I know Chilwell obviously was uh, the first to get there with obviously the upgrade in Pending. But we have now got... Chilwell and Alba. There is obviously a lot of good left backs. We've obviously got Team of the Year Davies. We've got uh, Zhao, uh, Zhao Kim, Zanetti. We've got Spinzola, who's a cracking left back. Not forgetting prime moment Lam and Carlos. Flashback Marcelo. We've got li literally the, the list is just nuts. Like we've got 90. We've got about what? I'd say 15 is there or is that maybe even 20 left backs over 90 rated? And I think a lot of them are very similar. You can see that the plush green down here. All with incredible pace. Ashley, I forgot, I've even forgot about Ashley Cole, to be honest, in this. He's a brand new one. There is still people that I definitely want to have a look at. But in terms of the difference between the two top-rated left-backs in the game, I can imagine Alba's more of a kind of going forward, whereas I can imagine Chilwell is more defensive, if anything. So if we go in formation, obviously both 3-3. Free -free. Uh, Chilwell's a little bit taller with the high-high. High. It's a shame that he doesn't have the high-high high as well because that would be perfect with his kind of wing-back style. Uh, both left-footed, which is fantastic. Price-wise, we're looking brand new upgrade, so 305. We can imagine and he's out of packs. Um, and then we go into... Where's the stats? There we are. So, pace-wise, pretty much bang on. Um, obviously, sprint speed is that one little higher than, obviously, uh, Chilwell, but that's not too bad. Both with 99 positioning. Obviously, the finishing goes to Alba. Um, the shot power goes to Chilwell. Um, I can imagine free kicks. Yeah, free kicks, I was going to say, has that little bit more. Um, Passing-wise, we're not looking too... Well, actually, to be fair, the long and curve is definitely considerably better. The short pass, uh, uh, what, a six away is not... Awful, I suppose. Um, agility balance is way, way better. Obviously, reactions, ball control, and dribbling. Composure goes to Alba. Then this is what I thought. The defensive uh, kind of style goes to Chilwell. He is more of a defending player, as we can see. I think defensively, you've got Chilwell as more of a tackler. Alba's kind of like that that bit of both. He's great at attacking. He's got the passing. His defending with a chem style would be better. Uh, but obviously, if we go to Chilwell, what sort of chem style would we want on him now? So they're saying anchor, but I really do we see that. 98 rated, I suppose. Gets the maxed out pace, the maxed out physicality. Defending's up there. If we went with an engine... Gets the balance and agility. I genuinely think Alba could be the one, to be honest with you. I think Alba just possesses 
so much of a starting stat that it works. Like, you can literally just go with that anchor or at least that sentinel I think we went with and just have that. Like, he's got the maxed out pace pretty much. He gets then the defending, the physical maxed out, whereas Chilwell needs something to get that agility balanced, which obviously Alba already has. I'd say Alba for the win. Alba's got to be the best left back on this game right now. 97 rated. He's joint highest rated and probably one of the best left backs we've seen in FIFA. At least he is the joint highest rating we've ever seen as a left back in FIFA. And literally, he's been quite um, moderately consistent in terms of being above 83-4. Obviously, the past few years, we've kind of been above that 85 at the very minimum. Um, for what? FIFA 17 is where it started and literally hasn't dropped below 85. So, a very, very consistent left back. Hopefully, next year, we do continue with him being over that rating. He is one of them ones that was... Not necessarily used as much, just purely for the fact that Marcelo was up there with him for so long. Now Marcelo's kind of dropping. It is his time to try and just take that spot for a minute, even though Ferlan Mendy, unfortunately, is incredible at an 83 as well. But overall, I'm going to give him a solid big boy 10 out of 10. I was absolutely in love with this card. I think it's an absolute bargain of a price that will drop down even more. Would be very, very happy to get him in my squad if we could imagine it. Let me know down below what you think about Alba and your left back. Who is the best left back in FIFA 21 in your opinion? I've been absolutely thrilled to do this card. Unfortunately, we got a one win and a one loss in champs, but we will continue the drive to get them 12 wins and then on to that 15. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this video and hit that bell button. Just hit it. Just go on. You get notified whenever we do a video. We are hitting over 800 rev reviews, if I can get my words out on FIFA 21. We are going for that big boy 1000 in FIFA 22. So that's going to be the goal. We are going to keep you updated with that. And I'll see you all for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.